Well, Governor Mike Huckabee has been a vocal critic of Obamacare and its assault on religious liberty. In response to President Obama's contraception mandate, Governor Huckabee declared, quote, we are all Catholics now. Well, I'm pleased to welcome Governor Mike Huckabee to the program via Skype. Uh, Governor Huckabee, thanks for joining us. Well, delighted to be here, Tony, and uh, I really appreciate what you and Family Research Council is doing to make Americans aware that this is not about Catholics. This is about all of us. Let, let me ask you this question, Governor. You've been in politics for some time, have a lot of experience in it. Why do you think this contraception mandate has brought Christians together in opposition to the Obama administration when other issues have failed to do that? I think it's uh, become increasingly clear to a lot of believers that this administration is not just indifferent to uh, people of faith, it's hostile. And, and that's not something I say lightly. I, I say that with a great burden in my heart to even have uttered the words. But how else can you look at it when you, uh, you think about the fact that even after meeting with Catholic bishops and saying that we're not going to do something that would uh, really cause people of faith to violate their conscience and their biblical and moral principles, then to turn around and cave into the left and force Catholic hospitals, and for that matter, uh, Baptist hospitals or any hospital, uh, to provide abortion-inducing drugs. And this is an assault not on contraception. This is not an assault on uh, just a particular faith. This is an assault on all people of faith across the country. Uh, who don't believe that the government has the authority under the Constitution to dictate what people believe and how they practice their own uh, particular walk with, uh, with the Lord. Well, I, I thought it was very instructive and obviously catchy when you made the, uh, the comment that we're all Catholics now. And, and many, uh, you know, have said, well, you know, yes, contraception, uh, this is an issue uh, that uh, is, is associated with the Catholic Church. And then, of course, uh, others have said this is a war on women. Uh, but you, as a former Baptist pastor, uh, realize what this is. And I think that's the, the point of underscoring here, that this is a, an assault on a fundamental freedom. And if we don't take a stand here, what's next? Well, I'm with my Catholic brothers on the uh, pro-life position. I think life begins at conception. Science is uh, affirming that every single day. But even if I wasn't, uh, if the government can tell the Catholic Church what it must do, how it must practice, what it must uh, do to accommodate the government mandate, then the next time the government may say that Baptists can't, uh, maybe the Baptists won't be able to immerse because the EPA will determine that's using too much water and therefore we have to cut back on the use of water and uh, have a form of baptism that would not be true to, to our tradition and heritage. Uh, so once you start the idea that the government can dictate people of conscience, uh, Christian beliefs, or for that matter, any uh, particular uh, religious belief, then we have completely abandoned what our forefathers came to do in establishing a, a government that was, uh, they were so fearful of this that the very First Amendment said that government could neither prohibit nor prefer one religion over another. It didn't tell religion didn't tell churches what they could or couldn't do. It put the restriction on government and expressly forbid government from interfering with the operations, beliefs, or practices uh, of any church, uh, or for that matter, a synagogue or mosque. I, I was afraid you were going to say that might uh, outlaw those dinner on the grounds for the Baptist. Uh, that would really well, be, uh, that, that would get their start, attention. Yeah, that would start a revolution, yeah. not just a reaction. Uh, let, me, let me ask you, speaking of a reaction, do, do you think this is going to cause many who have, let's say, not been that involved? We know that there uh, are about half the Christians in this country, evangelicals, I should say, that are not registered and not participating in the process. Is this one of those things that may draw more of them out to be involved in the process this November? Well, I certainly hope so. And one thing that I'm praying for is that pastors will light up their pulpits not with the endorsement of a candidate, because I never think that a pastor should endorse a specific candidate from the pulpit. They, they need to keep the pulpit for endorsing Jesus. But they ought to make very clear what is at stake uh, in the election process. And if uh, people who believe the scriptures and believe them to be inerrant and infallible, in fact, act as if the government is infallible instead, then we'll end up with what we deserve. 
Um, so I'm hoping that there will be a massive uh, communication from the pulpit to the pew and that people will uh, get off their hands, go register to vote, and then no matter what, make sure they vote and vote their consciences and vote to make uh, very clear to this government um, that there's not going to be sort of an abdication of our basic biblical responsibilities. Well, Governor Huckabee, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule uh, to join us. Uh, by the way, how's, how's the new radio program going? So far, so good. I'm, I'm having a, a great time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an incredible opportunity for me to be able to discuss a lot of issues doing three hours a day. Um, and it, it's been quite the joy. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll renew me for another week. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed joining you the couple times I have and look forward to, uh, to being with you again. Thanks so much for uh, speaking with us tonight and also speaking out on the importance of this issue. Thank you, Tony. And thank you for Family Research Council and being out there as a voice, uh, not only for us, but also being a great resource for all of us who care about these issues. Oh, well, you're welcome. Have a great evening. Thanks. Thanks.